300, what's the deal? It's your folks, Shock. I wanted to share my thoughts with y'all. So y'all, um, we got a situation here uh, where a so-called black man was attacked by the police, is what they're saying. But let's go ahead and um, play this clip, and I'll be right back. A North Mississippi Police Department says it's investigating after video of an arrest last week started making the rounds on social media. So just stop what you're doing and just take a look here. We kind of zoomed in and the video appears to show a Senatobia police officer punching a man multiple times. That man was being taken into custody at the time. Now Fox 13 Mississippi reporter Tom Dees went to Senatobia today. He talked to the man in that video. Andrew Burton says he was just walking home and now he wants answers. Andre Burton tells me that he was walking this way down Short Street when an officer told him he needed to get off the street. He tells me what happened next, he couldn't believe. Told me to come here. When I walked on him, he started attacking me and hit me behind my head. And all the other officers ran up to help and they charged me with Disorderly conduct, straight to the plow, resisting arrest. How is I resisting arrest when I ain't do nothing? We got this video from Burton's sister. The Senatobia Housing Authority confirmed that it came from one of its cameras here in the Newtown neighborhood. Burton tells me he has suffered since the beating last Tuesday night. 40 seconds into the video, it appears an officer punched Burton at least four times. And y'all pay attention to where they said this was at. Uh, they talking about housing authority, okay? So uh, this is on government territory. And that's what I was gonna talk about as well. I'm gonna talk about that more. When we uh, was getting those news articles on those fires that were happening and things like that, all of those things, those, uh, those fires, I believe, where they were happening in those big old buildings and all those people were so-called dying, those were government uh, funded properties, okay? So pay attention to that uh, because I believe that this is a live script, okay? And, and like I said, um, well, I said another word there, but the more the government is involved in these areas and these places and stuff, the more this stuff is likely to happen, especially when you got the people in power today that are in power, okay? Because <laughs> they down to do whatever uh, to get them votes uh, to stay in power, it seems like. But let's go ahead and keep playing. Times in the back of the head. Um, concussion behind my head, I've been having headaches. My ankle bruised, it's still swollen. And a little part of my back been hurting me a little bit. Yep, something need to be done because it's, it's too corrupt down here the way they do us. And I, like I said, I haven't did nothing walking home there attacking me. Burton tells me he's been charged with public drunkenness, disorder. Let me stop right there because what he don't understand is what, if what needs to be done is we do need to police ourselves more. The police does not need to be in our communities as much as they 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 are there. Okay, you should a cop should not be in your community to the point where you're walking down the street and they're just like, hey, get out of the street. That doesn't happen in other communities that are more established and have a strong culture and got a way to go and regulate if something goes wrong. You know what I'm saying? These communities already got that established. Cops are in our communities more than anything, okay? And this is one of the reasons why a lot of that stuff happened, whether it's a real altercation or it is a live script. Because if y'all don't believe that or not, uh, this shit is real, okay? They are making these scripts and they are placing them out here for this shit to play out. And then what they do as well, is what they do with the victim is they coerce the victim, okay? They coerce the victim to say certain things like, I looked at other videos, they might play it here, but he was talking about how he feel pain and they wanted him, they kept encouraging him to talk about the pain and stuff like that. Like this stuff is kind of like a script, y'all. They want that to turn up because it is a voting year, okay? They do this all the time, we should know this. All right, we have to start reacting different, okay? 
so that we can get a better position on the chessboard with this stuff because they keep us running in circles, but let's keep playing. Disorderly conduct and resisting arrest in the case. He and his mother say they plan to sue the Senatobia Police Department. Every officer that was involved that night or was there to see actually what happened to my son, I would like every one of them badges. I do not want them to be police officers here in Senatobia, Mississippi no more. I've reached out to the Senatobia Police Department and to the police chief and have been told that they will make a statement on the case when they've researched all the details. In Senatobia, Tom Dees, Fox 13 News. Okay, and so yeah, that's pretty much what it is right there. But it seems like to me, you know what I'm saying? Those cops were put out there on a mission to, to pick that little situation out. And I can't remember which um, so-called uh, YouTuber said this, but I mean, it's, it's, it's real, man. The world is a stage. And a lot of those upper people in the police force, they are dudes that call these shots, okay? And so when that happened to that dude like that, trust me, that's something that they're trying to get out here for shock value to get us to react to it and start a whole new movement. I mean, they doing everything they can. They coming out with the whole, uh, uh, all of a sudden this year, they want to talk about how Wells Fargo is discriminating against black folks with loans. How many years have they been talking about that, y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's like, we got to stop being hustled like this. But when it comes to this situation here, I was talking to somebody in a comment section on a video and it was it was something that, that was said and, and somebody came in and was like, well, uh, nobody uh, deserves to die behind whatever we, it was we were talking about. But what we don't understand is we have to take preventative measures, okay? We just don't understand that for some reason. And so with this situation here, we got to understand and prepare, if anything, every election year, every election year, we should be prepared for this type of shit. But <laughs> when it's not an election year, we should also be trying to be prepared. And one of the things that we got to start doing when it comes to this police thing, y'all, there is a solution and it's called policing ourselves. And that's really what you do. You gotta start learning how to police yourself, zone out your own communities. You know what I'm saying? I mean, one of the things we gotta do as well is a lot of us gotta get out of those hood situations because I'm gonna tell you something right now, those, those are dangerous situations. When you are in that hood housing today, man, anything can happen. Anything could happen in those hood houses. At any given time, they could be using you in a live script so they could turn around and use your death or whatever happened to you and say, uh, you know, this is why we need such and such. You need to vote for me. You could be used for a damn vote uh, campaign. All right? This shit is real out here with these people, y'all. But what happened to this brother? Yeah, this, this, uh, from what we see here, this was not right. Okay, and the thing is they were like he was under arrest and that's what they said he was under arrest for because of whatever, whatever. But if that was the case and it was just him, he wouldn't get out the street or whatever. No, this did not deserve to happen to him. But on top of that though, this does not mean that we need to run back out and, and go vote for a nothing ass nothing burger that's talking all that pandering bullshit to us. That's, this is not an opportunity for us to do that. We gotta stop playing that game. And we gotta also start being more aware of these situations when they decide uh, it, it, it's time for us to get us some votes. No, they ain't gonna keep using us like that. Go do that bullshit with somebody else. We need to start sending that message. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Y'all comment below, like this information, but hit the sub button and the bell. We dropping shit y'all like. It's your folks, Shaka the Urban Philosopher. I'm out. It's 300.